Hey everyone, welcome Excalibur here, and today we're going to um, I'm going to show you how to build Drake. This is episode three in the Hero Master series, so let's begin. So Drake is a great support hero, like Rogan, like Ignis, like any support hero in the game, but he is really useful for PVE modes, and uh, yeah, he works in PvP as well, and. Uh, he synergizes with Sword Flash, with Rogan, and uh, yeah, he's a great guy. He is a dark assassin, and uh, yeah, he has some abilities, and uh, you can build him like in different ways. Let's discuss this. So he have abilities like any hero in the game. He have an active ability. He have basics, and uh, yeah. So first one is the active ability. So, like any hero in the game, when he gives an active, he will deal damage against uh, enemies. But in this case, he will do he will do damage against random enemies, two random enemies, and he will deal extra damage equal to 20% of the target's max HP. So it's uh, yeah, and uh, the damage won't exceed 1500% of Drake's attack. We are not interested in this one, but this is the first uh, ability that we are interested in, which is Black Hole Mark. So uh, Drake have a mark uh, that he will uh, he will apply at the end of the round. He will um, apply the Black Hole Mark. So what does this mark do? It will allow him to deal damage equal to 60% of total damage from active skills and basic attacks the target received during the effectiveness of the mark. So um, that means that uh, when the round ends, it will calculate like all attacks and basics that uh, this target um, have, uh, have received from your team. And uh, yeah, he will get damage equal to 60% of all of this damage. So yeah, it's it's a great uh, it's a great mark, and that will apply as long as this um, mark is applied to this enemy. But the damage won't exceed 4,000% uh, of Drake's attack, and that is not as stackable. Number two, <coughs> excuse me. So if the target already has a black hole mark, Drake will deal damage um, on the target by 20% of the target's max HP. The damage won't exceed 1500% of Drake's attack. So that means this target will get obliterated when the round ends. So this is damage over, over time mark. So this target that have the black hole mark on him when the round ends, he will receive like a huge amount of damage from Drake, and uh, yeah, this is great. So this is when uh, when Drake gives an active. Our basic skill is the same as everybody, and uh, the basic skill number two is a block hole mark. So he will uh, target when he gives a basic attack. He will target the enemy with the lowest HP, exactly like Rogan, exactly like Sword Flash. This is why he uh, synergizes well with these guys. So you can use him in uh, Void Vortex. You can use him in Broken Spaces. In any boss fights in your guild, in your um, altar fights, any anywhere that uh, requires him, he's gonna synergize well with uh, Sword Flash and Rogan or Rogans. Yeah, that means when you use two Rogans and a Drake and a Sia. That means all of these guys, assassins, will get also a huge buff from Rogans. Yeah, it's gonna be a, an obliteration for the enemy team. Okay, so his basic, uh, he will give the black hole mark for the lowest HP enemy, exactly like Rogan. And the description of the black hole mark is the same as the one in the active, so there is no explanation there. That means when the round ends, any targets that have the black hole mark on them will get obliterated when the round ends. So the final one, this is uh, uh, the final uh, passive for him. So every time the active skill or basic attack is performed, Drake gains self shadow lore. What is shadow lore? 
So it's a skill effect. It has a 60% chance to hide into the void to dodge um, active skills or basic attacks from enemies. That means he's gonna be untouchable. So Shadow Lore is really, really, really great in Sea Land. That means if you build him right, and uh, this percentage will increase if you uh, enable, if you void enable him like uh, V3 or V4. So in uh, in the Sea Land, this is gonna be really useful for you. He's gonna be untouchable, so he's gonna deal tons of damage on the uh, on the targeted enemies, and at the same time, the enemies won't even like. Uh, won't have a chance to attack him. He's gonna be he's dodging like a boss. So and uh, Yeah, Barry uh, made a video on him When he did like sea land 20 with uh, with Drake. He called him ninja Drake. I mean, yeah, he's a ninja Okay, so this is the skill number one. So He will apply this uh, shadow lore for one round and when the battle starts and when a round ends Drake inflicts defense down to the enemy with the lowest HP for two rounds. Okay, so what is defense down? It's another skill effect. It will reduce the target 100% of armor, damage reduction, all damage reduction, block, and dodge. Yeah, he's gonna, he's just gonna like take down this, uh, this enemy's like defenses. He will just leave him vulnerable for two rounds, which is enough. If you find uh, if you're fighting like a boss, so Sword Flash has a chance to just obliterate this enemy because uh, Drake is gonna take his armor and his damage reduction and his old damage reduction and block and the, all of this by hundred percent. It's it's amazing. Okay, these are his abilities. So let's just wrap this whole thing and uh, yeah. So Drake, he's going to. I'll target the enemies with the lowest HP. He's going to leave a black hole mark on them, which basically means that this target is going to get obliterated when the round ends. And he also will apply a shadow lore, uh, which have like a 70 to uh, 60 to 70 chance uh, for him to dodge like attacks from enemies. And he also will get a defense down when the round ends, which means he will have like a hundred percent reduction. Uh, of armor and damage reduction, all damage reduction, block and dodge on his enemy, so he will leave his enemy like naked. Okay, so we discussed his abilities. Now how to build him. As you can see, I have a resonance gear on him, but I mean, yeah, you should get resonance gear for everybody on your team, but if you can't afford it, really, you can get him like a class gear, like a an assassin class gear or even a six star gear or you can uh, do like a two two split uh, for more HP if you're building him tanky or three to one split if you're building him like more aggressive as uh, a stone on him I'm running uh, holy damage attack HP I could have I, I need to reroll this stone for speed HP so speed HP for Drake is really great but because I don't have enough gold I'm not going to reroll him and as you can see, I'm running him with a withered armor. So let's discuss what artifacts works with Drake. Okay, so artifacts works with Drake. I would say anything that have attack, HP, and speed. Like you can run him with a demon bell. You can run him with an AMB. You can run him with a crown. I mean, if you don't have these, you can run him with any damage reduction like a fearless uh, plate of courageous. You can run him with uh, what else? Uh, rune, runes power. You can run him with. I mean, if you're building him aggressive, you can run him with um, echo of death. Yeah, I th uh, I don't know. You might run him with uh, magic stone sword or a wizard armor. Uh, there are like another uh, artifacts if you are an F2P and you don't have like tons of artifacts you can run him with uh, yeah you can run him with a mirror chain if you have it or um, Oak's Heart, uh, Deep Eyes and even a Guilty Crown yeah anything, any of these um, artifacts will work on him so there are two ways to run him 
as, a, as you can see, I'm running him as fast as possible. He is a fast aggressive, this is a fast aggressive build. You can also run him like a tanky boy. You can just get him like enabled as tanky as possible. So he will survive and he will keep buffing your team. Or you can run him aggressive as well. So it, it doesn't really matter. What matters is what team do you have. So I would say like take the middle of both grounds and just leave him like, uh, you know, tanky, attacky, speedy at the same time. This works for me. It sure will work for you. Should you imprint him? I would say yeah. Exactly. You, you need to imprint him. If you if you have like tons of uh, stellar shards, as you can see, I don't. You can get him like to uh, to V3 at least. So you would increase his uh, dodge ability to like 70%. And uh, yeah. Is it worth it? If you have the resources, yeah. Just go for it. If you don't, eh, doesn't really matter. So um, this is uh, Drake. He's a great support hero, and uh, yeah, this is about it for me, and uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed these videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel, we want to reach like 1000 at least, yeah, I know it's, it's a lot for now, because I just started, but we can make it, come on, subscribe, invite your friends, and like this video, comment down below if you need, if you have any suggestions, if you need any explanation that I can provide in a video, let me know, okay? And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So I hope you enjoy this one. Peace.